spoiler talk time. Hold on, I'm going to put up the spoiler image. Mm-hmm. And I will play the spoiler sound effect so people know that shit is popping off and it's about to get real. So, there will be spoilers for WandaVision. If you hear this siren, it's not a tornado. It's WandaVision spoilers. Okay, that's enough of that. You didn't like that? All right. What else? That's enough of that. <laughs> I have no more sound effects to play for you. So, what do we, what do we think? What'd you think? What do you have to say? Say something. Here's what I got to say. I was surprised that the only like hero in the series was really a person that didn't exist. Vision's incarnation was really the only good guy in the series. So are you expecting there to be a, like a last minute cameo or something? I mean, there was Monica. Well, yeah. here, Photon was a good guy. She, but she was, she was, she wasn't in it that much. She was at a minor role. She had some. She did have a heroic moment for sure. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. And there um, was a scene of hers that was cut. Maybe you would have liked it if it wasn't. Of uh, Rambo. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There was a scene where she was supposed to fight the rabbit, and that actually got cut. Oh, okay. That's weird. Uh huh. <laughs> I was just surprised that you know they made. They made a big a deal, literally a song and dance number. Uh, Agatha, what was it? Agatha, Agatha all along. Agatha all along. But the reality was, it wasn't Agatha all along. It was Wanda all along. And Agatha, yeah, like was fucking around a little bit in there. But Wanda did everything to to create the scenario that re- resulted in an entire town being kidnapped for five days, like hundreds of people kidnapped and mentally tortured for five days agatha brought her out of it actually you know well, unintentionally I, guess the, I, guess. I think there's that that the part of it is was she being manipulated by agatha without even re- like subconscious you know subconscious manipulation no. when she was coming by and being the neighbor and all the stuff about you know keeping everything together was that her manipulating her in a way I in will say I will say no, and I'll tell you why. Because tell me why Agatha is drawn to her, drawn to Wanda after the fact. Once Wanda had already yes, set up Wanda everything, Wanda builds builds everything up, and then right. Agatha shows up. It seems like Agatha is more intent on actually bringing her out of it because she wants Wanda to use her powers so she can suck the powers out of her. And Wanda is not using her powers in this scenario. She only used her powers to create everything. And apparently. Agatha needs her to be actively like shooting out the the beams to suck them in. And that was not happening because they were pretending not to, they were not using their powers during, you know, while they were having, living their family life. So I just was really surprised. I was surprised that they made Agatha straight up the bad guy. And mm-hmm. Wanda was also like, she certainly wasn't Wanda's a good guy. Wanda's not a good guy. No, that's not kind of the guy. point. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, I was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's at the end of this. She's not a good guy. She's I, not the hero. She's not redeemed. And I think that's a, that is. I kind of like that. That's how they did that. It was that. That is cool. It was a little weird how they just sort of like she. They're like, all right, this woman who just kidnapped a whole town and tortured people. She just left, and I guess. But we got this other dude. We got this dude who runs sword. Who we're gonna arrest him somehow for some reason, even though he was trying to stop this woman who was kidnapped an entire town and was torturing them uh well you know he was lying and and uh, doctoring footage oh he and, was lying and, oh and no he lied we should arrest not him. he's gonna go to he's i don't think he's going to prison but uh yeah you know, he was a bad guy was he yeah compared to wanda he was pretty good i feel yeah compared to wanda he's good it doesn't mean he's not okay. a criminal too right but wanda you're not they just like yeah, they're not going to stop Wanda. They're not going to be able to get, put her into prison. Not not right. Not at this point. Not with the power that she now has. And there are a lot of people like, well, they were able to put her into prison after Civil War. I'm like, yeah, but that was a different power set. She wasn't the Scarlet Witch. She's jacked up now. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's like crazy astral plane reading a book while making tea in her physical form. Right. Banana boat. Dr. Strangelove style. Dr. Strange, no love. Oh, strange love. 
<laughs> I want to watch that again. I'm waiting for yeah. Ty to get like two years older. Um, Shipwreck, what do you think of this of the series? No, I, I I agree with most of what you guys are saying. I mean, I think that yeah, she did a lot of bad stuff, but some of it she did accidentally, and then compounded the problem because of her feelings for what she had created. Right. Right. So I I will say I think Wanda's redeemable. Oh, definitely. Still, yeah. Is she yeah, going to be? She felt bad for what she did. I, I got that. She, she felt, did. I, I think I think she felt bad for what she did. She didn't kill anybody, and it, which is a, a very intentional move on the showrunner's part to not have her kill any innocent people, because if she killed an innocent person, e- you know, even accidentally, you know, within this hex mind stuff. If someone just couldn't take it and killed themselves, can't get past that. Yeah, she wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to get past that. I'm glad they didn't go that dark. Right? Because they could never going to go that dark. They're, no, it's, it's Disney. It's on the Disney. It's Disney Plus. They're not going to uh, go that dark. Mm-hmm. They weren't going to go to the dark levels of the Visions uh, comic. No, no, not um, that dark. Although they did kill Sparky, uh, <laughs> but that was Agatha. Yeah. And that's, that's why Agatha is worse than than Wanda because Agatha is, killed, she killed a dog. dog, and that's that's the cardinal <laughs> sin. It really is like you can't get come back from killing a dog. Like, but it could have been a you, fake dog, but it probably wasn't. We don't know for sure. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know if it was a real dog or a fake dog. Right, could have been a metaphysical dog. So but uh, yeah, we don't know. We don't know what was real and what wasn't. We don't know if the kids were uh, completely imaginary or not either. Right, they seem to be. There is but, that, yeah, but then they had that end scene where they were calling out to her. Yep. Which is... Hinting that un- they may come un- back. Unnerving. Right. <laughs> is she, so is she going to be a bad guy when Doctor the Doctor Strange love? Uh, Doctor Strange love. Doctor Strange 2 comes out? I don't think she's her- necessarily a bad guy or, again, maybe not even necessarily a good guy as much as she is someone who has answers is going to be my guess. Someone who, especially if she knows the dark hold back and forth, if she, you know, if that's really what she's studying, she's going to know more about dark magic than Dr. Strange is going to know about dark magic. So it's going to be a question of what she, you know, is Dr. Strange going to help her find her kids if she helps Dr. Strange do whatever is my, mm. my guess. Yeah, she's going after the kids, obviously. Yeah, and it's interesting because Dr. Strange 2 comes out when a WandaVision season two would have come out. But there is no WandaVision season two. It's just Doctor Strange two instead. Right. I where where do we think White Vision went? <laughs> and somewhere else. I mean, it's it's back to his home planet. Like, right. Somewhere that, else. That was, somewhere else. <laughs> I really liked that whole scene in the moment, like the two visions mm-hmm. and yeah. like because at first I was like, oh gosh, they're gonna they're gonna make Vision kill himself here. Like, right. It, it was not gonna end well. But then we got the whole ship of theseus going on and i like that a lot i liked it didn't come down to just punching each other until someone was it was, was cool beat. to watch him punch each other though it was cool to, but that's just it it's like you got your best <laughs> of both lie. worlds it was cool to watch them both beat each other up and yeah, then I know some people complain that like it devolved into standard marvel at that point but you have to have some I, of that's that all right I, mm. I will i like to see vision fighting himself uh mm. and not having an upper hand because they both can phase through each other right um don't you think there was like the the sword guys when they programmed White Vision? Like maybe just say, "Hey, target this guy. Here's a picture of him. Just go after this dude. Don't don't I even th- you don't even need to honestly, know his name." <laughs> I think I think that they were just happy that they got it to work. Sure, you sure. know, like they weren't gonna mess with it. Like, what can we do? I don't know, just program him to attack Vision and hit the go button. I don't want to futz with it. Like when like in the old days. <laughs> when your TV would finally get a picture and you have the antenna, you're like, don't touch the right, antenna. Right. It worked. It's on. Just don't, it's on. Just right. don't touch it. Don't ask any questions. Exactly. What about the scene where Wanda shows up at, at sword and she asks to see vision's body. Yes. And they say, sure. And they bring out vision's body while they're like cutting it up into tiny pieces. Yes, that's to get get a reaction. That's to get her. Upset. What reaction were they looking for? They wanted her to get upset because I and want kill to say everybody. Would... <coughs> no, because she wouldn't do that again. It's not in her nature or She's kidnap not... everybody. What if? No. 
What if uh, they wanted to see if she had the power in that emotional state to bring him back to life? I see. But couldn't she have like that could have gone very wrong. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah. I wouldn't but mess she, with her. <laughs> that's why he let her down there. And that's why when she touched the hedges and said, I can't feel him, she just left because to her that he would, that was just, that wasn't him. There was no soul there anymore. Right. Too bad. She didn't like, they showed her, you know, his body instead of her just walking away. What if she had her freak out right there and created her bubble right where the, the, in the, the sword place and turned all those people into because the it's because the the triggering moment wasn't that that wasn't the trigger that had her set off the town it was when the, she saw the shitty house that vision picked it up. was it was when she saw that that vision <laughs> wanted to build the life for them and that's oh. when the grief kicked in and she built the town around her so right. that's the reason vision put on just a empty lot and the, mm-hmm. the, the, all those houses behind us are like dilapidated no Okay, and I enjoyed the series. I'm not hating. It was it was fun. I had a good time watching it with my it's, family. It was fun. It was a good time. You have to remember also the context for what the series was originally supposed to be. It's kind of like, not necessarily filler, but very much the in-between thing, not the main thing that, w- that it became. You know, we were supposed to have, at this point, another Black Widow, the Eternals. I think Shang-Chi was supposed to be out by now. Falcon and the Winter Soldier was supposed to be before WandaVision. All of these things were supposed to be before it or during it, that this show is just supposed to be like this other little thing that was on there also to kind of just, you know, be a palate cleanser, I guess, between all this, all the flashy Marvel stuff. Yes. So the fact that it's as good as it is at all is actually kind of crazy. It overperformed. It did. It definitely did. So great. When's uh, the next one? Falcon and uh, the Snowman? Not this Friday, but next Friday. All right. Falcon and soon. the Snowman. Yeah. That's the joke. It's you're supposed to. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, just I'm confusing, excited. I'm also confusing movies with, uh, uh, you know, movies and yeah. Marvel TV shows. Classic yeah, movies. No. Now, yeah. I'm excited for that. I hope it's good. I'm excited to see U.S. Agent in, in uh, the MCU because uh-huh. he's an interesting character and I'm interested to see how they pull it off. So, I excellent, know. excellent. Yep. Anything else you want to add, Ship? Before we uh, before we wrap it up? No, I think that, I think we we exhausted everything that was there. I, I just I'm I'm most interested to see where White Vision shows back up, and he will. And you know who's happy about that? Paul Bettany. <laughs> oh, I'm happy about it. Well. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's great. he's great. He's great. He's great. I like how they did it. I like that my prediction was half true where I said that at the end, Wanda and Vision would not be a couple anymore, but they would both be alive. I thought that Vision would have stayed in the town. But, well, but one didn't. of them is somewhere. Yeah, I'm saying he's above, above. He could come back to the town. But he just I was went straight angry. up when he came right, right back down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Everybody's here. He's like, wait a, a minute. I own, I own this plot of land. My name's on the deed. <laughs> <laughs> gotta start building a house here this is i like gotta ridiculous. build my house here my name's on the deed i'm the vision now 